What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So I had a ton of video ideas kind of buzzing in my head that I've really been wanting to put out, but I wanted to put that on the back burner to kind of give you guys an introduction video to tell you guys a little bit more about me, what you can expect from my channel, and a little bit of history behind the reason why I started so that you guys can get a little bit of insight on the heart behind the videos that I'll be posting. So if you guys didn't already know, my name's Abby. I'm 21 years old. I'm from Virginia. I love all things food, fitness, fashion, makeup, music, and I have always wanted to start a YouTube channel. It wasn't until at this point in my life where I really felt like it was the right time. I kept pushing it off and finding all these reasons as to why I shouldn't do it. And then I realized I just need to do it. There were so many fears that were kind of holding me back and I really doubted myself and I was so scared of what people might think or what they might say or just failing and my YouTube not really going anywhere. Then I had to realize that my heart behind this entire YouTube startup is that I want to help people and I want to give people the advice that I wish that I had when I was going through some of the darkest times in my life. So to me, it doesn't really matter how many people I help. If I can just encourage one person, that would make it all worth it to me and I do it all over again. So to let you guys in on a little bit of my history, um, I grew up in a big family, youngest of five. My dad actually pastors a church in our area, so I was raised in ministry. Um, I always knew the Lord, and even as a little girl, I really battled a hard bout with insecurity. Even being really young, I had horrible body image problems, and I just did not like the person that I was. As I got older um, into high school and college, I tried my hardest to manipulate my body because I really believed that looking beautiful or being beautiful or being perfect was going to make me happy. I tried every diet under the sun. Like, when I say every diet, I tried paleo, I tried keto, I was vegan for two years, I tried vegetarian, I tried clean eating, I tried low carb, I tried IIFYM, I tried the whole 30. Every diet that you could think of, I tried and failed miserably every time. So basically I have a pretty long history of poor body image, struggling with insecurity, struggling with identity, and just always feeling inadequate. I always kind of thought that achieving this idealistic image, achieving beauty, was gonna make me happy and confident. And it wasn't until I lost a lot of weight that I realized that happy is not in skinny. Basically, after running myself into the ground and being an extremist in regards to exercise and nutrition, I essentially completely burnt myself out and I physically could not diet anymore. And I went through a phase where I experienced really bad burnout and struggled with heavy bouts of binge eating. This cycle of extreme dieting and binge eating led me into a six year long bout of bulimia that almost took my life. I finally reached a point where I had to snap out of it and realize I cannot diet anymore, otherwise I'm going to lose my life essentially. And so during this period of me and recovery, I gained 45 pounds and I remember just feeling like this identity that I had was ripped out from under me and all of a sudden when I wasn't in pursuit of thin or I wasn't in pursuit of this ideal body I didn't know who I was. 
when I say that gaining weight was literally the best thing that ever happened to me, it was. It wasn't until that I really gained weight and my thin identity was taken from me that I really realized that there is so much more to life than the way that you look. No one is gonna say at your funeral that they remembered you because you had six pack abs and that you were amazing at calorie counting. The legacy that you have to leave, what's really important in life is the things that you can't see. After being on this recovery journey and learning so much about myself, about food, about health, I just feel like I am so passionate that I could not stay quiet about it anymore. I know that there are so many girls out there that struggle just as I had. I always thought that I couldn't keep these diets because I was so undisciplined or something was wrong with me or every other excuse that you could possibly give. But then I realized that there's actually nothing wrong with me. Accepting my body for what it is doesn't mean that I'm being lazy or undisciplined. I have so much passion for girls who just feel like they are at war with themselves and they can't seem to gain control and they can't seem to get there. They can't seem to attain this ideal no matter how hard they try. And I want to use my channel and my videos to show girls how to have a healthy relationship with fitness and food that you can eat and that you can enjoy life and you don't have to be perfect in order to be confident. You don't arrive and then gain confidence. Confidence is something that's learned by a process of accepting who you are just as you are. I really want to be a voice to speak out and show people that letting go and being free has brought me the most joy, has brought me more joy than any diet or any body ever would. So anyways, with all that being said, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a practical application as to why all of that has led up to me changing my nutrition and diet. So for years, I went to the gym with the motivation that I wanted to change my body. I trained for aesthetics, I did hours and hours hours of cardio and then it wasn't until a couple years ago that I got into weight training but even then I was still doing more bodybuilding style workouts like more isolated exercises to look a certain way like I was just doing it to gain a certain shape over the last year I have completely switched my training to more functional style training so instead of training for an aesthetic, instead of training to look a certain way, I now train for performance. Instead of the goal being looking a certain way, my goal is to perform at my highest ability. So now my goal is to train like an athlete. I found that it's so much more rewarding to go into the gym and do things that you never could do before rather than go to the gym and do these same boring workouts and stare in the mirror and wonder whether or not you have a six pack and a big butt. I feel so much happier with my workouts because my progress isn't measured on how I look. It's measured on how I feel. So if I feel good, if I feel strong, if I did something I couldn't do before, that's a win for me. So if you're wondering why I've been showing you guys a lot of workout videos and what I eat in a day videos, it's because I wanted to show you guys kind of like what my trainings look like looking like, 
how fun it can be and to give you inspiration to kind of try some of these moves out and see if they work for you. There's so much that I could cover in this video, but I really want to leave it all for individual videos. If there's anything that I've mentioned in this video that you're interested hearing more about, please leave me a comment down below and I'd love to do more of an in-depth video on that. If you're interested to see how I recovered from my eating disorder, um, how I recovered from binge eating, how my body has changed with this new lifestyle that I'm living, please leave me a comment down below. Love you guys. Can't wait to hear from you. If you haven't already, give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!